The following program is rated G. It is suitable for all audiences. For a long time, Japan has been using a very traditional educational technology, just like a freaking sound. And it's very an ideal thing to have involvement and development about it. Now, Japan has been using this technology in elevating their educational system, making their students at their best ability. I am Amit. And I am Tay. Join us as we bring you to this first world country and their educational system that has been evolving from generations to generations. Let's go to Japan! Let's go! countries use technology as the biggest asset in elevating their education. Now, the country is now at its highest point when talking about their educational system. Let me give you some insights about their history and making their educational system at its highest point then and now. Let's have a look. <laughs> じゃあ、設定的にどうしてやろうかっていうところなんですけど、これから僕の話を聞いてほしい。本気で見たい。本気で、え、頭が。やっぱり高校野球みたいな世界を作りたいなと思ってます。こいつまた教育やったことないじ
and any other forms of devices used for educational learning. And if you wanted to discover how these things go, have a A 21st century classroom in Japan has this custom designed Megatama arrow tables. These are designed to create group workstations with 2 to 6 maximum student capacity and can be rearranged wherever inside the classroom. Students are also equipped with tablet pen operated PCs where they can write, calculate mathematical problems, and research on their subject matter. Classrooms are also equipped with this four-sided array of wireless projectors where these projectors can project four images at the same time, making the 16 students at its maximum number can see the images in the projector on the same time. A 21st century Japanese classroom is also equipped with a wireless whiteboard where the teacher can manipulate the whiteboard using this magical wand, making his teaching experience easy and hassle-free. At last, you have witnessed the professional cycle of Japan's educational technology, from a very traditional one to a highly technical one. Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the day, it is not important to which tool we have been using, because what is important is learning itself. And with that, we would like to thank Mr. Toshiyuki Mizukushi, a professor of Kansai University and president for Japan Society for Educational Technology for making this documentation possible. This is Dave Brigner and this is Amit Pogodora. Thank you for joining us to our road trip to Japan. Arigato! Arigato.